since we still have Z and Phil with us today, well, bira naman sila magkasabi, so we're uh, taking advantage. I uh, will ask them to name their dream starting six coming from the first round of UAP Season 81. So, meaning ito yung top performers in the first round, they put them all together based on, uh, you know, their, their statistics and, their, you know, their, their, how they perform during round one of the elimination. So, let's get right to business. So, uh, Phil... You wanted to start. You yes. said, I want to start this discussion. Okay. So, Sige. here you go. Uh, I want to live in this fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> so, my first outside hitter is CC Rendina. Because, hello. hello. Why not like, CC? I like the reason. Yeah, hello. hello. Her athleticism is amazing. And, parang, how to be you po. <laughs> I'm in awe every time I see her play. And my second outside hitter is Desiree Cheng. Although she got injured, I believe she can go get back to her 100% and help the LaSalle team to get yeah, into the semis. She has more than enough. Yeah. Time yeah, to you know, get time. back in the groove. Yeah. And my opposite of outside hitter she is um, Laika Ebon. Even though she's a rookie, bilib na bilib ako sa batang to. Her um, volleyball IQ and diba, madiskarte siya pumalo. Hindi lang siya puro power, nag drop ball siya and parang hindi siya rookie maglaro. For my middle blockers, of course, Madi Madayag with the record setting 11 blocks last game <laughs> against UST and Sed Domingo. They're both amazing middle blockers. For my setter, I chose Ayel Estraniero kasi magaling siya mag-distribute ng bola. Magaling siya magpaya ng setter kasi nga may confidence siya sa mga spikers niya. And of course, for libero, si Kat Arado. Sabi ko nga kanina, kung may points lang digging, <laughs> ano na siya, best scorer na siya. <laughs> excellent point. So again, to recap, Phil's uh, Dream 6, CC Rondina, because as uh, Phil said, Duh. hello, uh, Des Cheng, Laika Ebon, and you were shocked with how tall Laika Ebon yeah. is when you saw her in person. Uh, Madi Matayag and Seth Domingo, Ayel Esterniero, and uh, kung, may, kung may points lang ng digs, then Catarado yeah. could be an MVP uh, <laughs> contender. All right, Z, your turn. Yes, um, medyo similar than yung ki Phil. Uh, outside hitter, CC Rondina. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to mention their uh, rankings after the end of the first round. CCC, number one in scoring, number two in spikes, number six in digs. Uh, and num uh, which is she yung hindi number one na hindi libero sa digging. So we all know that she's such an all-around player and she's very athletic, sabi nga ni Phil. Uh, and nakita natin yun, especially against La Salle, when she <laughs> parang dali yeah. lang yung bounce ball. <laughs> Walang blocker. <laughs> yeah. Um, second outside hitter for me is Aya Laure. Um, I think kasi she's been consistent since day one she's been producing double digits for her team um complementing uh, milena who unfortunately had to end the season early and cc rondina um ca naman number one in spikes and number two in scoring and as a rookie talagang someone to look out for and my opposite hitter si kat valentino yay got <laughs> Um, for <laughs> for Kat, naman, um, she's actually number three in blocks, which is um, medio expected That's of her, because because she's blocking the outside, which is like madaming ball ang binibigay don. Um, and number four in spikes and number four in scoring. So um, she's been consistent also the past first round, and um, wala but confidence is there. Parang wala nang iniindang injury, and you really saw her bounce back from her previous seasons. For middle blocker, same as Phil, nice. Maddie, and Sed Domingo. Um, they're number one and two in terms of blocking, and that means they're doing their job really well. <laughs> For setter, I think Michelle Cobb. Um, She's pretty. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Michelle Cobb, because as a setter, for me, you have to look at um, their ways of contributing, which is setting, um, serving in defense, and all of those three skills check yon. And then blocking also in their last game against FU, kitang kita mo, parang parang wala lang eh. Block talag talaga yung FU squad. And the uh, libero, of course, Katarado. <laughs> Grabe, um, she's everywhere. She picks up balls left and right, up and down the court. And yep, she's our libero. <laughs> all amazing choices, all amazing players. But, ganun uh, katagal na yung makakalala, two of you? Oh, since grade school. Since More grade than school. A All right, yeah. since grade school. I will put that friendship to the test. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, which Dream 6 is better? Z, oh. Z can you, can you uh, like defend and say why your Dream my 6 is better than Phil's Dream 6? Ah, huh. I'm a boy. 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 I'
My um, I think mine is better <laughs> um, in terms of siguro the setting wise. I guess Michelle Cobb has that confidence in her, yung lasal confidence, yung animal spirit. <laughs> um, I think that's what could take it up take her far from Ayel. Si Ayel, we know that she's converted, but her confidence is there. But I think for me, medyo angat lang ng konti si Michelle Gop. Okay, Phil. For me, ginayang mo lang ako. <laughs> so mine is the best. <laughs> Seryoso. I guess mine is the best. I'm gonna <laughs> Hindi win. lang better, the, the best. I'm, I'm gonna win in my fantasy. <laughs> it's my fantasy. <laughs> but I guess the difference lang naman sa atin is the utility, which is like kind the setter. All oh, right. Oh. Diba? Yun lang yung difference. But almost all the same na tayo na players. Eh, yeah. Siguro yeah. tayo magkakatalo. And even though injured si Des Desiree Chang, I believe in her. Her <laughs> swag and leadership. Diba? May leader ako sa loob. Okay, okay. And then si Esther Niero. <laughs> kahit pa paano, magaling mag-distribute. So everyone can spike. Kahit si Kat Arado. <laughs> kahit si Kat. It's my fantasy. <laughs> so I win. <laughs> He's pushed. It's hard to argue with that. <laughs> Walang sinabi yung lawyer eh. Hindi na nakasagot eh. No, but, but, but seriously, you, uh, I, we of course love it that uh, Z, you, you know, you're ready with your stats, but did you also consider intangibles yes, when yes. you chose uh, yeah. mm. certain players? Z? Um, yun, for example, um, who's this? Si Kat Valentino, um, comparing her to Laika Ebon, for example, sa crucial uh, situations, I think she's more reliable. She's a senior as compared to etong bata, which is, she makukuha din yan eventually but experience wise yun yun talaga yung nakakapagdala ng isang player far from her career to her career <laughs> well like I am is a young um, <laughs> player <laughs> but sa ngayon siya yung go to spiker nila at nadadala niya yung FE boom team nadadala yung boom team I like okay. that you're taking this debate too seriously <laughs> take a look at not at the expense of your friendship it's great school plan uh, let's not waste it uh, once, once again, amazing players, two amazing lists, everybody wins, okay? Yes. Everybody, everybody wins. Everybody wins. Ah, okay, Phil, oh, relax. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Zier Basho and uh, Phil Kainet. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes. This has been The Score. I'm Nico Alili. Catch this episode at sports.abs-cbn.com. You can also watch The Score on the I Want app for free. And we'll leave it now with a look at the Team Lakai Media Day in the latest Vince Ventures episode as Vince Velasco shows off his Muay Thai skills. We'll see you all again on Monday. On today's Vince Venture, we train in the art of Muay Thai. Here with me is Coach EA Manalo, Strength and Conditioning Coach here at Safe House. So Coach, tell us what exactly is Safe House? Uh, yung Safe House, basically uh, we try to cater sa general na public and our main goal is to teach uh, clients yung authentic na mixed martial arts. That's, that's really great to hear. But today, I know we're going to focus on Muay Thai. Muay Thai yes. So can you tell me a little more about Muay Thai? Uh, Muay Thai is the art of ano, uh, eight limbs. Yeah, you strike with uh, eight limbs. So aside from punching, my elbows, my knees, chaka my kicks. The main difference as compared to the other striking na, no, na skills. Okay, coach, with that, I'm ready to learn the eight limbs technique of Muay Thai. So let's get to it. So coach, what is our first lesson? First, gagawin natin left push kick, jab straight, and then right jumping kick. Isang ganun. Yeah, jab straight. Tapos jab straight. Tapos jumping kick. Yeah, push kick, one, two. Yeah. Yan. Next, second technique naman natin. First, jab, straight, hook, low kick, and then hook. Nice. Jab, straight, hook. Nice. Game, last move. Yung gagawin namin ngayon ay first, jab, right kick, and next, straight, left kick. And at every beginning of a Muay Thai match, fighters must perform the Y crew or the ritual dance. The choreography symbolizes the fighters paying respect to their teachers and family and asking blessing for a victory inside the ring.
Maraming salamat sa lahat ng coaches today. That wraps up our Muay Thai session for today. Keep it here for more Vince Ventures, only here on The Score. One heavyweight champion, Brandon The Truth Vera, along with Team Lakai members Jehe Eustachio, Joshua Pasio, and Coach Mark Sangyao, visited the ABS-CBN studios for a special media day, which included a visit to the Showtime online show. Team Lakai headlines the upcoming first-ever Tokyo Card of One Championship titled A New Era on March 31st, with champions Edward Fulayang and Kevin Bellingon set to defend their belts. On April 12, Joshua Pasha will seek to bring back the strawweight title to Manila in his upcoming main event title rematch against Yusuke Saruta for the strawweight belt at the Mall of Asia Arena. This coming April 12, um, Roots of Honor, one championship here in uh, Mall of Asia Arena. Subukan natin ulit na bawiin yung belt and naasahan ko ang full support ninyo. Meanwhile, Brandon Vera continues his transition to the big screen with upcoming movie projects but promises to return to the ring for a possible title fight at light heavyweight. So we're going to be busy. We have three more movies to shoot this year. Um, definitely a good thing. We're looking forward to getting back in the, uh, in the ring to defend, actually not defend, challenge somebody for the another title at a light the heavyweight. Of the heavyweight champion also shared the possibility of facing the really signed MMA legend Vitor Belfort in a future really main event bout for the title. In a future main event bout for the title. I am very excited that Vitor signed with one. Um, he is in my weight class, light heavyweight or heavyweight. So wherever he decides to come, wherever he wants to come hang out, he can get some too. Welcome to one championship, Mr. Vitor Belfort. Just remember, I'm going to touch you. Make sure you guys tune in March 31st here on Sports and Action, ABS-CBN. Watch Team Lakai perform to their best. Stay tuned. Pay attention to what I'm doing on social media. Mabuhay. Love you guys. <laughs>